Pang and Cypher ready, and I believe we're starting. <laughs> They're ready for us to be ready. Yeah, here we go. We are in round four. This is the first game we'll be watching today. Winner of this will be looking fantastic Boy. in the points. Uh, and off the beginning, I am on Cypher, as he's just spawned right behind the Hang. The Hang will quickly, quickly be able to clean up the red armor. But Cypher getting us off a bunch of nice uh, items and, more importantly, weapons. He's able to shove the Hang off of that rail position as well, coming back in over the top of the map. Uh, able to cut off that rocket launcher, all importantly. I'm not sure if the Hang's been able to get one. No, he's got to come back over towards the plasma room, which means he's in a bit of a, uh, of a tough spot moving into the next round of items here. In fact, he's already taken a rail to the face. Cypher taken away one Yo armor, able to take away the red, and he'll have time to get down to the mega as well. So this is a really tight hold on the map already. This will be a good opportunity for Dahang to sort of prove himself versus Cypher. He's had some unfortunate finals uh, with Cypher in the previous Quick yeah. 2012. He narrowly lost 3-2 uh, after almost having a 3-0 over Cypher. And then 2014, he lost 3-0 over Cypher, and it was very convincing for the battle. Cypher's actually. been playing fantastically today. He's only here in this match because uh, Evil was doing that much better. But look at this, Dahang getting Cypher down to 10 health. He'll be able to recover here, of course, but he's not going to be making it easy at all. Rail, the Hang's actually rail. kind of committed here. He's going to be backing off, but I'm wondering what he can get now. Upper YA is available, and he can take it. Cypher might be meeting him if he decides to go through the teleporter. He's going to wisely distance himself from that and eat a rail off the Hang as he dives down for that other yellow armor. So stacks have kind of traded, despite the fact that the Hang has done so much damage. Yeah, the Hang very nearly got a kill, but Cypher was barely able to survive. It was railable a couple of times, but the Hang couldn't find the last shot. And Cypher, though, have, making sure that he holds on to that better position and doesn't give it up to the Hang, he's able to get to the items uh, much faster than the American. And once again, he's diving down towards Rocket Launcher. Of course, Dahang now finally has that in his hands, but he's still having to play it a little bit silent. He doesn't want to give up the stack that he's managed to work himself up to. He's going to be able to take away Mega Health after all, uh, with actually a pretty wide timing window between Mega and Red. Uh, Cypher also didn't really want to come into that fight. It's going to be a clean trade. And of course, Cypher taking away that upper yellow armor as well. Coming down towards the Lightning Gun, he has an opportunity maybe to surprise the hang over by Rocket Launcher. Yeah, he's going to be able nice to take away that. Hang. And a nice defensive shot there indeed. I think the hang would like to... Uh keep that mega advantage as well, does not want to give that over to uh, Cypher. A little bit of splash damage for Cypher, not going to matter too much. Cypher hasn't committed to the red armor yet, he wants to drop down, but I think Tahang was quite ready for it. Cypher loses a lot of health. He's going to try and get himself onto... Wow, Whoa. he takes a rail. One more rail from Tahang and he's going to get the first frag. Cypher under pressure at the moment and he's going to find a spawn frag as well. Cypher going down twice in quick succession. This was an amazing uh, sort of comeback of the, of the control of the map, especially considering that Cypher uh, had such a strangle on it over the mm -hmm. first minute. The Hang just picked some really well-timed fights and didn't get overcommitted at all, and uh, something like paying off for him right now. Three minutes knocked off the map, and uh, two frags in the in control of the Hang. The Hang actually taken away Mega here and YA. He's kind of lost sight of Cypher after that second frag. I was kind of hoping that he would be able to keep the pressure on and be able wow. to convert, but there it is finally. A long time coming there, but now he's kind of reasserted himself here. Launch, and he, he just launched himself into that room. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got to take him down right yeah, now. Yeah, you can't really edge out the plasma gun room. You're either in or you're out. You know, as soon as he's got some good information on Cypher, then he's pouncing. It's almost a kind of evil-esque strategy that's being used to <laughs> counter him. It's taken people a long time to work out how to play Cypher. Uh, well... Nice okay. roll out of Cypher. Maybe the Hang was able to see some good moves from uh, Evil last round. That's why that third frag kind of surprised me, because the Hang had lost uh, sight of Cypher for quite a long time, and Cypher didn't really make any good use of it. So the Hang is still holding down items here. He'll still be able to cycle red to mega potentially, yeah, while know. denying everything but one yellow armor against Cypher. Cypher's actually got a bit of yellow already, but he's down here by the teleporter actually. The Hang, not entirely sure where he's going to be at. And actually, if he tries to come down here below, he's going to be able to smoke him out, catch him. But that's sort of an awkward position, leaving the Hang with relatively few options to go get this red. So with no damage traded, just by position alone, they're going to have to trade items instead of the Hang getting what both of them. What Cypher's doing? He just pushed him so aggressively, and the Hang, oh his LG just shredding him apart. 4-0, and it looked extremely easy. Yikes. I don't know if these are the sort of uh, aftershocks of having lost to Evil, but, you know, Dahang is playing a very safe game. He's making sure he doesn't fall into any traps like Evil did. And it's just the trump card that Cypher usually plays is worthless. Dahang's just 
putting a lot of pressure on mid right now. He knows that red is potentially at risk, but he's ready for, oh, didn't see behind the pillar. Ends up taking a rail instead, but that's all right. He can recover, but that's still a red armor in the hands of Cypher with no return damage from Dehang. As he crawls himself up the stairs, he knows he's going to be allowed here and inviting a fight. Looks like he's actually ready for it. He's just hearing sounds. Expecting a Cypher from a particular direction, although if Teleport is used as well, he's just yeah, barely gonna meet, yeah. <laughs> wow, just a direct. Cypher was actually fairly slow to react to that. Yeah, one rocket wow. is actually all the hang needed to kind of open up the floodgates and take both Red Armor and Mega now. Oh, he's actually be leaving Mega up. He's checking for Cypher at that yellow after going through the teleporter, but he's not gonna be committing quite that much. The respect from both of these players is actually kind of tripping them up. They're expecting them to commit to things that neither of them are willing to do. I think Zahang really is trying to play a safe game at the moment. He's not trying okay. not to overcommit, but this... You've got to be careful when you do moves like that, when you do drop down with LG to LG. He just secure the red armor in the end. Uh, Cypher has got a bit of armor of his own, but any rail is just going to slow Cypher down completely. Zahang can very much just hold on to this lead till the end of the game. And again, they kind of walk into each other, both of them sneaking up towards the same point. Neither of them getting damaged at that time, though. We've got five seconds to red. Dehang's going to be down below. He might be the troll under the bridge right now, picking a very difficult position for Cypher to do anything about it. And there's the rail he was looking for. He might be looking for one more. Not, not quite so much, but he's got uh, time to come over here and get the armor. And I will be shocked if Cypher's not ready to do some damage. There's one rail, at least. Just the one. Really not a, yeah. a great deal for Cypher at the moment. He's going to need a lot more than that. Just it's to not make like Dehang kind of ran over to that yellow armor. I mean, Cypher had time to uh, to set up his angle. Oh, Cypher does get the mega health, but the rockets from Dehang are amazing. He's got a little LG at the end. He's got any weapon he wants to use, but Cypher hurts him a lot. Yellow taken. You can see the split timing on the decision that Dehang made. I mean, his uh, natural inclination was to go back and try to catch him with the rail out of the teleporter, but nope, 32 health, maybe not. And he still needs to take it very easy right now. Stacks are ever so slightly in favor of Cypher, and now with an additional yellow, he's looking pretty good. Dahang is going to play this as steady as possible. Sturdy he is. This, this is this is Cypher's map pick, by the way. Yep. We're going to yep. go to Furious Heights next, which would be uh, Dahang's pick, of course. Uh, I will switch over to Cypher, though. Yeah, he's the one who's got to play everything here, and he's he's taking items away from Dahang now. At some point, Dahang's. Uh, Lack of, of wanting to really force a fight against Cypher is going to go against them. Cypher's going to be able to farm these things out. And here comes Cypher exploding out of the Ooh. stairs, taking a rail in the last bit possible pixel of the hang. Really just pulling him into, or rather daring him to come through this teleport. It's not going to be there, of course. Now he can just burn some time, but time's not exactly oh on his God. side either. Dehang coming out of the teleporter with grenades, and Cypher's immediately going to have to get out of there. It's a miracle that he didn't die, actually, as we have our final two minutes. Cypher's still trying to get himself onto the Mega Health. This is great spam, actually, from Dahang. Cypher will just about slip away. Rocket jump up. And with the red spawning shortly, is there any kind of trap? This has got to be up? frustrating, knowing that Cypher's got the last several grabs, but he's just eating so much damage on every single one of them. That 50's not even available for him, and he looks twice. Like, really? Really? You're not there? Come on. <laughs> please spawn. Please spawn. Please. Please Where's that 50? Well, two two twenty fives will do it, yeah. Well, there's still it's risky going through an area like that when uh, the hang the hold of the railgun. Yeah. And if you could force your opponent to be begging for 25s and 50s, then yeah, you're burning the clock effectively. Uh, speaking of the clock, though, I'm looking at it. There's not a lot of time left. I just realized no. just over a minute. Cypher, if you're going to do something, it's going to have to be very, very soon. A frag within the next 20 to 30 seconds is absolutely necessary. And then you've got to string together a bunch of conversions. The hang makes it through the teleporter, and Cypher just simply can't chase. He doesn't have, have the health in order to do so, and there's no bubbles around that he can take. Look at him spinning his head around, like, well, where do I, what can I, uh, oh, GG. frustration is real. And there it is. I can't believe Dehang just did that. 5-0. Uh, he's able to completely avoid all the traps that Cypher would normally set up. The sneaky play's not working. So, you know, Cypher's known for being the last person to exit a fight, and mm -hmm. when you think he's left the fight, he's always going to double or triple peak. Uh, you and go for an extra rail or a rocket shot, for example. But the hang just held that elegantly. And That's a little bit more of the return to form on Blood Run that I wanted to see yeah. earlier. And I like like the finals that we saw in 2014. I mean, that was just confidence like we've never seen almost from the hang.